We are outside the Des Moines Playhouse and we are about to get the exclusive behind the scenes look at Disney's Alice in Wonderland Jr. Let's begin at the beginning. This is so exciting, come on. Robin, you are just the person I was looking for. We cannot wait to find out all about Disney's Alice in Wonderland Jr. So what is this musical all about? Well, it's based on the Disney animated version, so it's very family friendly. All of the characters we're all familiar with, the Caterpillar, the Mad Hatter, the March Hare, and of course a very sassy Alice. Uh, and all the songs from the show as well, from the movie. And we've got a really talented, multi-generational cast. Our youngest cast member is 11, so that's been really neat to put together the different different ages and see them work together on stage as peers. Well, Kevin always does such a good job with set design, so I'm going to go in and take a peek. Thank awesome. you. Thank you. Kevin, this is absolutely incredible. How did you come up with this design? Well, you know, it's a lot of collaboration between myself, the director, the, the costume designer. Our, our Wonderland isn't that, that far removed from the real world. Got it. But when we do go to Wonderland, there are a couple of changes. Let's go on a tour. Over here, when we begin the show, it's we're, we're, we're basically set in a, in a park that's roughly modeled after Central Park in New York. Okay. But when we change and we go into Wonderland, these panels turn around and give us a nod to the white rabbit being late. All the clocks. All the clocks. Beyond that, the stonework down below here. Oh, wow. Light up with the various sweets from the card. Sure. Now the backdrop changes. So colorful and creative, Kevin. What I did is I tried to kind of take the real world backdrop and abstract it a little bit. Sure. I feel like sometimes maybe as an audience member, I would miss out on all these little intricate details. What advice do you have for audience members? Just sit back, enjoy the show. Those little details will creep into your mind when you least expect it. and. It'll, it'll click at some point. I love it. Well, you'll speaking understand. of creeping, I'm going to go creep over <laughs> and talk to Cheshire the Cat, one of my favorite characters. So thanks for joining us today. Well, thank you, Melanie. We'll, we'll see you, Kevin. Bye. Jay, I understand you play one of my favorite characters. Should we let the transformation begin? Yeah, I can get started for you. Awesome. All right, you're done? Mm hmm So tell us about your character, Jay. I am kind of the narrator of this version. I look at making everything really big for the kids. And for my character, when I was thinking of how I was gonna be, it was interesting, I kind of thought of a Jack Sparrow type where he was very loose, laid back, and a little flamboyant. And that's where I got the idea. And uh, it's, it's really fun to see on stage, I think. I can't wait to check it out. I'm gonna go check in with Angie. All right. <laughs> Angie, we love getting the behind the scenes scoop on the costumes and look at all of these costumes. I don't like the top. I mean, we get the Disney music with this show, but you don't get the Disney costumes and I don't want those. Leave that to Disney. It's little cartoon characters. Mm -hmm. I love the lobsters. The lobsters were fun. I cannot take my eye off of it. Do you think I would be able to try one of these on? Yes, you would. It's about creativity, energy, and imagination. Disney's Alice in Wonderland Jr. is going to be fantastic. Leanne, how can people get tickets? Well, they can give us a call at 277-6261, go online at dmplayhouse.com, or of course come here to the Playhouse Ticket Office. And speaking of coming to the Playhouse, we've got a lot of renovations going on. When people come to the show, we encourage them to come about five minutes early to make sure they've got time to find parking. Perfect. Well, I'm going to get my tickets right now. All right.